Well, happening today, the city of Tampa is relaunching a program that was very popular. It's the rental assistance and move-in program. Yeah, this program is a lifeline for so many people right now with applications opening today for those in need of a little extra help with their rent. 10 Tampa Bay's Nick Volturo is live for us in Tampa. Nick, this program was temporarily halted back in April due to all the high demand. Yeah, Jameson, Sarah, good morning. It was so hugely popular that they needed to pump the brakes on the program and the applications. But applications are back open today, giving those on a little shaky foundation a little bit more stability when it comes to their housing. Now, applications do open today and they will accept 25 applications every Tuesday and Thursday to help those behind on rent or in need of assistance finding a place to live. Now, the program covers costs such as security deposits, first and last month's rent, and late fees, which we know can quickly add up. Now, since its inception in 2022, the program's helped over 1,800 families, providing more than $10 million in funding. Now, the program was a lifeline for Angela Presley, who spent most of her life helping others and realized she now needed help after being diagnosed with breast cancer. And Remap's out here to help everybody that is going through a situation because nobody's nobody is exempt. You can be, I'm sorry to say, but you can be the mayor and you're not exempt. You're not because you never know what situation might happen. Now, Henderson says these applications will open at 9 a.m. today. Now, the thing is they do fill up extremely, extremely fast. So you want to make sure you get on there because they are only taking 25 applications every Tuesday and Thursday. And you can find those applications on Tampa.gov. Yeah, understood, Nick. So many people need help in the area. Are there any additional programs, though, that the city is rolling out to help with rental assistance? Yeah, you know, Sarah, in combination with this, they're also going to be offering financial literacy courses, which could also be a huge help when it comes for people learning how to balance their checkbook, better budget, budget money, and find out what our needs and what our wants, and really how to better manage that money so you don't end up in a situation and a dire financial straits. For now, reporting live in Tampa, Nick Volturo, 10 Tampa Bay.